Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's cryptocurrencies update for Friday, May the 20th, 2022. Lots of twos, lots of zeros, lots of twenties. Fourth waves are tricksters. So let's have a look at the detailed alert wave count to see where we potentially are. And remember, fourth waves are not really the waves to trade. They are tricksters. They chop you up. It's better to trade the third wave or the fifth wave. Even for first waves are uh, difficult because they can be leading diagonals. Once we're done to the downside, it is time to start looking to the upside. I shall be very honest with you. I don't think the second half of this year will be as bad as the first half of this year. It's quite difficult to think that the second half will be as bad, equally bad, or worse, right? So to say, well, as bad, equally bad is the same, but as bad or worse than the first half. So time to start changing mindset. All right. But first, we have to get through some machinations of the smaller waves before we can complete the larger waves. Please remember, the smaller waves try to fit into the larger waves. It's the larger waves that dictate. It's not the smaller waves that make up the larger. It's the larger waves that is the framework things are in, and the smaller waves will try to make them fit. So if you have a C is A relationship, the smaller waves will have to fit into that. Okay. So we are still tracking. This is Avalanche, by the way. This um, total collapse <laughs> of Avalanche back to about ten bucks, which is very close to the C is A relationship, right? That we had already on the map. And of course, we've broken through resistance and we can lower that resistance for Avalanche a little bit here as well. Um, and that held so far on this bounce, which is about right here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? That's resistance. And then we have, of course, support uh, probably right around here, 10 bucks, right? And then we potentially have support all the way down here into the $2 zone, but let's make it about here. So that's the support zone and that's resistance. And you can see how we can get there. And remember, um, in about a year's time, Avalanche went from $2 to $145. That's a crazy appreciation, absolutely crazy appreciation. So cool off period, not out of the question at all. And that was a five wave top. So we have completed cycle or whatever larger first wave and we completely have to retrace all of the rally the detailed wave count suggests the same i have everything one degree lower on this wave count it's fine it looks like we've completed this wave four on our way for wave five but remember fourth waves can become very complex don't have to be uh, necessary complete they're just tricksters we break below last week's low wave five is underway most likely Moving on to Binance coin, also here, question mark is, did we just complete wave four here or did we already complete wave five? We'll know soon enough. So this is really wrapping up its last and final waves, honestly. There's not much left to discuss other than is this four or is this four? And if this is four, it's going to subdivide. I can tell you that's the trickster part of fourth waves. They're very irregular. Don't, don't trade it, honestly. This is not where you want to be in. This is both to the upside and the downside, the beautiful part of a move, the third wave. Bina this is that Bitcoin, sorry, excuse me, Bitcoin, not Binance coin. I have been able, able, well, able to elucidate this price section here. Okay, I've been staring at it long and hard all day yesterday, and this is now a leading diagonal wave one. So we have wave one of, um, C here, one. Then we have our wave two, which reached exactly the target zone it had to. And then of course, three, four, and five. Now, then we had, I had a long question about what is this price action? This looks like a nice leading diagonal for um, wave one, something like this. And then we have an A, B, C higher, something like this. And then we have three, four, five. So I believe we have completed wave three and we're in wave four. We potentially have already completed wave four to be determined. And now soon wave five of C of four. 
to around 23,000. It all depends on how is this wave four going to shape itself. As you can see here, this is already three days of nothing, right? We're, we're it's it's down, it's up, it's down. This is near impossible to forecast or anything. Stay out of it. Fourth waves are tricksters, just like B waves, all right? B waves are absolute tricksters. Fourth waves, absolute tricksters. It can morph into something like this, which is near impossible to forecast. It's near impossible. Once we're like 75% underway, you kind of go, oh, this is what it is. So that's the way it is. Same here with leading diagonals, one, two, three, four, five. It takes almost 100% of the price action until you figure it out because of the overlapping nature of that price action. Eventually, everything will fall into place and it just requires a lot of longs and hard studying to figure out what it is. Irregardless if we know what this is or not, we already knew we had completed three, four, and five. Remember, I was tracking the difference between Ethereum's three, four, five versus Bitcoin's three of three, four of three, five of three. Now I have Ethereum and Bitcoin aligned in that we have wave four and wave five left. That's what we have here for Ethereum as well. Here you see, for example, the potential path this wave four can take if we do a simple A, B, C. Why do I have this? Because this still looks like an ABC lower from the top of this A wave, down, up, down. That is then a potential B wave because B waves are always three waves. Then we had an A, a B, and a C. So another rip higher, rip between parentheses, so to say, because it's not going to be much of a rip. And then our final leg lower to around 1500 plus or minus 100. So remember in black here is the anticipated path. And then of course we get our rally um, versus what we actually got. Not too bad. Oh, yes, we got a um, undershoot. And now we simply have to see if we get a fourth wave to the ideal target zone or if the market decides this is complete. Also here, I have this leading diagonal. This is the best interpretation I can make for this price action. Um, this, it's all a little bit, arbitrary on exactly what is which wave but honestly if i then do the fibonacci extensions for this pattern from this it matches really well what we have um, so far so i like it i stick to my guns here i've been able to elucidate to most certainty i would say this price section which is also good because we don't want to leave a stone uh, uh, unturned and now simply a simple question is this four and then five or did four already top trickster waves I'll let the market decide, uh, we know soon enough. Again, I don't think the next half of the year is gonna be as bearish as the first half of the year, plus some. So we have had soon eight months of bearishness. Are we gonna continue with eight months of bearishness? I don't think even cryptocurrencies have been bearish for 16 months or in a row, and not even in 2018. So I think we're soon running out of uh, bearishness, honestly. That will go inside also with the stock market bottom that I'm tracking, which seems to get closer and closer for every day that passes. But we have no signs yet of a reversal and that must be respected, okay? So we can anticipate as much as we want, but we have no signs of a reversal just yet. It's short term, I still remain bearish. Long term, I remain a bullish. Let's look at uh, Polygon. Also here, still needs to wrap up a couple of fourth and uh, fifth waves to then hopefully bottom at around a cent or so, whatever exact path it will take. You can see here how four and five, C is A, symmetry all point to about the same level. And now we simply let the market decide if it's gonna get there or not. I like this wave count. And once it's confirmed that the bottom is in, that is by making higher highs and higher lows, break back above previous resistance, uh, levels back above downtrend lines, hopefully a clean, clear five waves impulse higher with a corrective pullback, etc. cetera. Uh, then we know it's off to the races, plenty of time. For now, there is absolutely no need to um, suggest anything other than that the correction is still unfolding. Here we have Solana. Solana, as we remembered, um, only did the simple ABC into the ideal symmetry Upside target, I would have really liked a longer B wave to get mm, something even more complex than we already had, but the market gave us uh, all we got. 
and we're now in this three, a four, and a five, in my humble opinion. Again, the fourth wave can become more complex, more sideways. Uh, whatever the fourth wave want to do, it's it's uh, reasonably fine where we are now. We've reached almost 100% extension. So we write that support, we break it, we go back to the lows, we break it further, we go back to the 20s. So the general path simply remains the same. Nothing has changed. It's simply now a matter of sitting on our hands and letting the market fill in the daily scribbles to see if wave four of five, of sorry, yeah, four of C of four has completed or not. Again, we have to respect the fact that there's no signs of a bottoming place. We haven't even made a sequence of higher highs and higher lows. We haven't broken above any downtrend lines, none of it. Let's move on then to the blockchain companies, because once Bitcoin and Ethereum bottom, the blockchain companies will bottom as well. This is Mara, and also Mara here shows you the complexity of a B wave, and I'm simply now tracking the number of waves to the downside. Doesn't look like Mara is entirely finished. I would still like to see a little bit lower prices for Mara in around the dollar seven. So, okay, let's see if we get there. We've so far done 18 waves. Um, after 17, okay, we now need to probably get to 21. So a few more scribbles to the downside should do it. We're starting to see positive divergence on a lot of indicators. Look what money flow is doing compared to what price is doing. So it, people are buying somehow, right? Money is flowing in it. This tells you that the uh, volume, buying volume on up days is larger than the selling volume on down days. So that's a good sign. Same here for Riot. You can see here that this is moving up. All the technical indicators start to bottom. Potential positive divergence. It's a condition. It's not a trigger. So if we do the detailed wave count for Mara, we have a wave one here in February of uh, last year. And then you can see the super complex one and a half year long wave two, in my humble opinion. Wave A here many months of a wave B. So that's kind of what I expected for Bitcoin and the other um, cryptos as well to kind of get a more elongated B wave in time. The market decided otherwise. And since then we've been impulsing lower and got back on track. So we have an extended wave three of wave C. C waves here in black are nine out of 10 times five waves. They can of course turn into diagonals. And once they're diagonally, it's sometimes so arbitrary, it's five or three waves. It's fine. We have an extended third wave. Uh, then a typical fourth wave retrace target zone was reached uh, from the extended third wave. This is the 23.6 to 38.2% retrace. Picture perfect. And now we're gonna look where this C wave should ideally bottom. It's somewhere around 175-ish, okay? So we have support levels here and the ideal wave five target zone where wave five is 0.618 times the length of wave one plus wave three. And as you can see, we're getting really close to that, but again, no signs of a bottom yet. Based on the Mara wave count, it looks like we need a few more scribbles lower to complete this wave five. Then we have a nice one, two, and then we have a subdividing wave three complex wave four and then a pretty much straight down wave five somewhere in this target zone so we're getting close no signs of a reversal yet okay that will require at the minimum a higher high back about 12 and a half almost but we're getting close to the target zones so that's good i like it things match and line up really nicely almost there no yet not just yet no signs of a reversal for any of these cryptocurrencies not for Avalanche, which I think has further downside uh, to be had to the tens, I would say. Uh, same here for Binance Coin, potentially bottomed, can do a, another step lower, uh, not necessarily. Cryptos as well. Question is, did Wave 4 already complete or is it turning even more complex than it already has been over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trading days? Fourth Waves, Tricksters. Same for Ethereum, still in wave four. If we're gonna go higher, please remember in bear markets, upside disappoints. And this is chop, chop, chop. So, so far this has all the hallmarks of a fourth wave. We just have to let price fill itself in. Uh, very hard to exactly know. I would really like to see an ABC for a nice, clean, crisp, clear, uh, corrective price action. 
it doesn't have to be that way. So we'll know soon enough. If we start reaching 1500 sooner than later, we know then wave four has already uh, topped. Same here for uh, Maytech also seems to be gearing up towards its final lows. So as you can see, all these cryptocurrencies are starting to align pretty nicely. So something is brewing, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, either total collapse of our system or we're getting very close to a very tradable low. And then we simply have retraced the entire rally that started in the summer of last year for most of these cryptos. And the blockchain companies are seemingly uh, bottoming out as well from a nice impulse wave lower to start to gear up for a nice impulse wave back higher. But again, I have no signs of a reversal at all. We have a lot of conditions in place, meaning where elliott waves start to uh, wrap up, positive divergences, but no signals just yet. So with that, let's go into the weekend, see what we get over the next couple of days for the cryptos, and then I'll be back on Monday. Take care, trade safe, and have a great weekend. Bye.